Warning. A very good friend of mine told me something the other day. I'd like to pass it on to you because I believe that what he said to be true. He said, we're here for a good time, not a long time. So have a good time. The sun can't shine every day. If you do not find this video entertaining, then you are taking life way too seriously. If you have a complaint about any episode, please book an appointment with the therapist. Cheers, dudes. Dude, are you serious? Is he doing this again? Hey, dude. <laughs> what the hell, man? What? Look, it's it's the flash with the 70s porn stash. It's porn flash. <laughs> That's dude! What ah, flash you do! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait, we gotta open these guys up, huh? Yeah, you want me to open it up this year? Yes. Kay. That's Oops. the one super. That's the one thing superheroes can't do with Oops. gloves is open beer cans. Go, dude. Can you put down the episode? Go check it out. See what happens when. Oh, don't check this one. Yeah, last year Batman had a little uh, yeah splooge accident. A little bad accident. Bad accident. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, <sighs> what? I look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come so, on. Green Lantern. He's the best one! Yeah, have you seen the Ryan Reynolds movie? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Alright, let's try this again. I bought so many copies just to make sure that it <laughs> actually showed up in his... And Ryan Reynolds sent you a personal thank yeah, you card. Yeah, super happy. There we go. Okay. That's dude! That's dude! And, and welcome, welcome to Lazy, Lazy Boys, Boys Night! Night. Oh yeah! Well, we have baby cans. What are this? Well... Oh, it's a specialty reason, brew, huh? It is a specialty brew. Oh! Actually, these beers were uh, given to us by oh. one of our uh, faithful fans. Nice, thank you. Yeah. Fan. Who was it? It was Sean. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. So I look Sean got these, picked these up for us, and it's the Monster Mash from Dominion City. It's, it's a, a double, double IPA. IPA. I see that. Yeah, and what's mash. super cute is there's a lot of uh, the cute. The can's super cute, but there's a lot of micro breweries now that are kicking it down old school little cans. And they feel weird drinking out of these now. There's a, I know so, they feel so small, huh? Yeah. A lot it, of the specialty expense, more expensive brews, yeah. they do that. And it's, it's it's one of those things where during mm. barbecue season, these cans don't do it anymore. No. I gauge my barbecue cooking time on our regular cans. <laughs> I want to get a small one. Why is it so always rare? just before I'm done. I'm like, ah, oh, no. God damn it. All right. Now, before we tell you what's going on tonight, Subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta do that. And come like and share, baby. Like and share. All right. Up fans are ready. So what's what's Ooh, on the dude. agenda tonight? Um. Well, since you're dressed the way you are, I am, and you are dressed the way well, you are. I am. <laughs> it doesn't change anything. We're still gonna be doing a crappy Happy bowl, bowl of, of mystery. mystery. All right. Cheers, dude. Good. See you soon, folks. Guys talking, saying anything, nothing new to say, talking anyway, stop yammering, can't hear a thing, nothing I can do, so let's have one more brew, one more brew, let's have one more brew, one more brew, stop talking, try listening, try anything, try whistling, there you go again, saying anything, nothing I can do. So let's have one more brew. One more brew. Let's have one more brew. One more brew. Okay. Oh, that smells awesome. You know what? The Monster Mash is a hit song, and it's a hit beer. Wow! Oh, I'm gonna do this mash. Oh yeah! Wow. Okay. I can't full, put my finger on what the uh, the aftertaste is, but it's really nice. Full disclosure, folks, it is a very expensive beer. What's, so, it, it's yeah. I'm just gonna say that. So Dominion City lately has been uh, bumping up their prices and smaller cans. 
So Dominion, if you want to chime in, um, you can put down a comment as into why that's happening or invite people out to your brewery so they can actually have a tour and explain what's going on. But I have noticed even it's when a quality I go, beer though. I, I would pay, no, I would pay the price for this. Oh, yeah. I'm not taking away the quality of the beer. This one tastes phenomenal. Dominion has very rarely have they disappointed me. But I'm just saying it's getting more and more expensive to be a proper beer snob. It is getting very expensive. It, it always is. was expensive, but now it's getting into that. It's like, you know, fine wines are expensive, fine beers are yeah. more expensive so. too. All right. So, you ready for the crappy bowl of mystery? Yep, I'm going to get the crappy bowl. <laughs> Are you going to be doing that the whole show? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the wind got a few. <laughs> Woo. So are you going to super fast read that, or am I doing it? I'll read through them all and see if there's a Halloween one. Ready? Go. No. That would be cheesy. Go. This one. <laughs> super slow. Hey, I gotta conserve my energy, right? You know, going this fast makes you I'm hungry. You want to put it away? You want to put it away? No, you, you can put it away. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'll do it regular human speed. Oh. Actually, now, lazy, this is the, lazy speed. This is the Halloween one I, I uh, managed to get through the bowl. It says, uh, can you tell us of any of your favorite memorable Halloween costumes? Oh, I like this question. Yeah. Very nice. So I, I don't like to dress up. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, oh. I'm, I'm a bit of a cosplay nerd, as you can see. Um, was it, so let's start with you, dude, because you said you're liking this question. I see you're doing the Mr. Well, Burns thing. Did you go as Mr. Burns? No, ne what? I, don't, I, I could never pull that off. I don't have the... I have the girth that would be like if I ate Mr. Burns. Can, can we go, like, maybe historically? I was going to say, I like to break it down. Yeah, yeah. Because I've had certain moments, I've had, like, my worst yeah. ever, like, so zero effort. I've had the best one that I prepped like months in advance. Yeah. So all these different things. So I'd like to break it down. So you want to do historically? It's let's all do. historically. No, so whatever. So just go, as go, of last start year, it's historically. Start a category. Okay, category. Worst costume ever. As in it was just crap it before just, you made no effort. Zero effort. Like it, you just went out. So I had... Um, and this is back in the day when I was still going around uh, trick-or-treating, you know, like two or three years ago. And, uh, <laughs> if, I, of course, we were going out with a bunch of friends. And I decided, back in the day, ripped jeans was a big thing until I came back again, not too long ago. But uh, in the 80s, we created the ripped jean things, we thought, but that they had the same thing back in the 60s as well. So anyways, we're not that, we're not that great. But... All I did is I basically got dressed like I was going to school, took some, um, I guess, the, the black makeup that you could buy the little kits for Halloween or whatever, and just smudged my face. <laughs> when it was a bum. <laughs> so I had a pillowcase, and I was dressed exactly the same way that I went to go to school, except my face was dirty. That's so like in I, the spirit of lazy so, boys, huh? <laughs> so when I would ring at the doorbell, where do you? I don't know. Bum. Yes, you are a bum. So should I be giving you something? Hell yeah, because I'm going to be coming back at your door tomorrow again. <laughs> but that was the laziest. Uh, We're going out tonight. Yeah, smudge face. This is what I am. I'm going to be honest. You could probably tell I was never particularly lazy with Halloween. So Laziest. I, I know. but Of I, all. Of all. I think the laziest was really just, it was more of it was a... Last uh, year is Batman. That was his laziest, folks. Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> um, I, I think it, it, it wasn't lazy as much. It was just crappy. Uh, back in the 70s and even early 80s, uh, we're talking about how Halloween costume, for some reason, was just a really thin plastic face oh, shell. Okay, my And then God, you had yes. like a white smock, and on it was printed what your guy's supposed to be. So if you want to see man it wasn't He-Man's suit. It was He-Man's face, but then a picture of He-Man on your chest holding up the sword and it said He-Man in the Masters Universe. If you went as, as what was it? You went as Fred Flintstone, you had Fred's mask, mask yeah. but it wasn't the orange suit. And it was it a picture go... of Fred on your chest and it said the Flintstones. And even worse, because a lot of times, by the time it's trick-or-treating time, 
depending on where you are in the northern hemisphere, sometimes it's actually snowing, and other times it's <laughs> freezing cold. Oh yeah. So those you things... wear a snowsuit on your back. <laughs> you can actually wear a snowsuit. Your parents don't want you to catch cold. Plastic gold. covering over it. And as long as you have that mask, oh, you're yeah. good to go. So that that was like the crappiest. Oh, dude, case. I have a photo. Can you put this up right now? Oh my god, See? you are adorable. That that's one of my costumes, is, man. Is that the dude with yeah, you? Yeah, it's the dude. Oh Me and the dude. man, dude yeah. and the dude. Yeah, that was awesome. That is awesome. Oh yeah, that was a zero effort, and that was oh. everywhere. Like you would go into any given store. Oh yeah, that's what it was. You walk into um, Sears, and right at the front door, there's just a row of plastic costumes with plastic masks. If that's all, all right. We had. So, um, most um, elaborate. Uh, no, I was gonna no? say more um, uh, shock value, scandalous. Oh my God, people were talking about what you're wearing costume. Oh damn, you had some of that. I did. <laughs> ha. Huh. I don't even know. Okay, I'll let you go first and I'll go All through right. my mind to see if so I had anything So, back like in that. my university days, so this is uh, back in the 90s. I just dated myself again, didn't I? Yes, you did. All right, so back in the 90s. How about you go back in time? My, my, my university out. days, um, I had much, much longer hair back then and uh, you know, beard and everything. For Halloween, I got my hair cut, not too short, but you know, j just very different. I shaved the beard. Nobody had, in school had ever seen me without a beard. Shaved the beard, and I got a friend to do like professional makeup job on me, even like hair mascara to turn me blonde, and all this. And uh, I got bustier garter belt, stockings, uh, high heels, little bow tie, and bunny ears. And I went as a Playboy bunny at the faculty party. Oh. And I walk into the party, and everybody can tell it's a guy in drag, but well done <laughs> drag. But nobody knew who it, it was, was at first. Yeah. They're all like. Oh my God, who's that? Who's that guy? Who yeah. is that? And then all of a sudden somebody clicked in. Hey, that's dude. Yes, because I was always yes. dude. <laughs> always dude. Oh my God, that's dude. And then for the rest of the night, I see even people I didn't know because it was a large faculty or guests of people who you know, could bring a significant other were just coming up to get their picture taken with me. And in the bustier to make sure it was filled out properly, I'd filled like pink water balloons and put them in there. And there's so many pictures where people are just like honk honk because it was the 90s, nobody cared. Was it correct? No. no. But Acceptable? Still. Yes. And I'm just playing it up, you know? And so when, I, when I'm posing with them, I'm not just standing there. I'm all like all sexy and, and all this stuff. And it was, I was, I was hot. You know what? I would have dated me. I was hot. Oh yeah. Oh. That was my most uh, shocking slash controversial <clears throat> Halloween costume. Okay, so mine, not even controversial like that, but mine was... I was going up to meet some friends in Montreal for a massive Halloween bash. But I was short on time, so I had to get changed before I left. But here's the, the little extra in this thing is back in the day, I don't know if it still exists today, but back in the day, you could be a part of this, uh, almost like a carpooling um, a group where you'd, you'd send in, like a, you had to have a membership, you were vetted and everything. And for example, I call them up going, okay, by the way, I'm going to Montreal on this day. If you have any passengers and I could pick up these passengers on a specific place. So this is like Uber before Uber existed. Pretty much, but long but distance. Long distance all Uber long distance. Yeah. in a group. Yeah. So those people would pay you cash yep. and it would cover your gas, right? So I would always do this when I was tra traveling to Montreal. So when I went to pick up my, my costume, I had decided uh, with my friends, we we're doing a group thing where they were dressing up as vampires, okay? And like really rock, like leather type vampires, nouveau. Um, and I was gonna be a 70s type cop that was hunting them down. So I had the full handlebar nice. mustache and like the proper, the fedora on, but just the whole way I was, I was dressed up as a 70s cop. So, the car I had back in the day was a really, really old car. So I show up to pick them up and they're all looking around and I get out of the car just like it was Starskin Hutch. And I get out of the car, they're looking at me and no idea and go, Halloween party. Go, oh, okay. okay. So they all jumped in. So it's safe, it's safe. He's okay. okay. He's okay. But the whole way we were driving down, just chatted up and they're like, this is so real. That's like, weird. 
But that's that, funny. When we actually got to the party, we would hang out and we would act out like different things where they would come up to me and pretend to bite. Anyways, it's just it was a phenomenal party. But we it played was a production, our, not a just production. a production. We played our roles and it was just amazing. But the way it started off with being already dressed and in character before I even so I had like all, over two hours of driving in character before I even showed up. That's but it was awesome. Awesome. It was an awesome, awesome Halloween party. I've got one last memorable that pops into mind. Um, this is best costume I ever had, last minute shoestring budget costume. And this is back when, you know when you start seeing someone and you have to do the couple's costumes for a while? You just dress as Wonder Woman. No. He was hot. Yeah, I was, but no. Have you seen um, him in a bikini? Oh, oh damn. I know. Go see that episode. Yeah. Check dude out in a bikini. But um, it was last minute, we didn't really have costumes, we didn't really have money, we're like, what do we do? Then I had a good idea. I had an old lab coat that I gave to my, um, was I married then or was she still my girlfriend? <laughs> my wife, yeah, anyways, she wore the lab coat and grabbed some big silver barbecue tongs. Yeah. I just took a little clown nose, put it on, wrapped a towel around my waist, and we drew with a mascara the um, operation board game on my chest. So nice. we're just walking around and she nice. every now and then she just poked me with the tongs and I go <laughs> <laughs> So she was straight budget for couples and everybody was like, Oh my god, that's brilliant. It got a little cold after a while because I, I just imagine. basically yeah. I just got underwear and a towel, you know, <laughs> getting hard nipples in the room. But um Oh man Yeah, that was a, that was a pretty good costume, I gotta say, I gotta say. My uh one of one of my costumes that I was the proudest of is I prepped like months and ahead of time mm. and it was back in the day when I actually let my hair grow because I could he had hair it, I did for real so my idea months in advance is I want to go to a party as a psycho clown almost like a Pennywise kind of thing yeah and my idea was to completely so nobody would ever guess who I was I shaved my head I just at the top, like clean, bicked it. So I had the long hair, but just completely bald. And then full on, like really creepy, creepy makeup. And I had bought a fat suit. Mm. Bought a fat suit. He had money back, back then. Back then I had to buy a fat suit. You know, you could have just spent that money on food and gotten fat for No, real. it looked awesome. <laughs> so, and then with the clown suit and everything, it's like, again, with you with dressing up as the bunny, as the psycho clown, nobody had, like, nobody knew who I was at all. And I can see you pulling that off, too, because when, when you know dude, he can be that psycho clown. He can be a lot of things. He's actually a gifted performer. Yeah, so I got, I get into it. That's the, my, my favorite thing about Halloween is getting into a character. Oh, yeah. That, to me, is awesome when you can just stick to that role and just have fun with it and take on that person, that, that, that persona, that personality. But being the psycho clown was an awesome awesome party and the prepping for it and i remember back in the day my date was like okay i'm getting ready for the hall and i wasn't shaved yet so I go. so she's getting ready i'm trying to remember what the hell i think she was like a sexy maid or something like they're that. always sexy something back sexy then. everything works girls i'm telling you right now sexy anything works it does it's your go-to all right yeah. it's fair it, so yeah. she was getting to her sexy maid outfit in my mind, that's what it is. Okay, don't take that away from me. And I go off to the bathroom. And I come back out. You gotta love the special effects, huh? That's how shaving sounds. Well, yeah, with your scalp. Yeah, freak right, man. I know. I've never shaved my scalp. I don't know. So when I walk out, She's I think like, she was oh ready God. to walk out. She was ready to say, I'm <laughs> dumping like, you, buddy. What Ew. are we doing? Yeah, wait. I'm not done yet. I just yet. got a glimpse of what you look like 20 years from now. No. <laughs> As long as you don't let the, the hair flow too, man, that's horrible. Uh, but yeah, that was an epic moment for me. For all right. Costumes. You know what? Uh, these are all memorable. I love them. Um, this year, obviously, I'm, I'm having a little uh, a little flash fun. And um, You're being flashy. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go around You're flashing. So the flashy. Oh. Anyways, let us know, or better yet, don't let us know. Send us yeah. pictures on our Facebook page. Send us pictures of your Halloween costumes. Uh, we want to see what's going on here. Maybe 
just maybe if one's good enough we might send them a lazy boys oh, t-shirt oh yeah oh yeah because we have a tendency of doing that we of, do uh of thanking our fans for participating in our show best costume wins a lazy yeah. boys t-shirt there we go that's there awesome. you go and put All down right. your comments put down your comments as you know if there's a, a fine moment that you had just let us know we enjoy those share things. the stories we and have the stories i will i will definitely read it and i'll comment i dude is super busy with so many different things that I can at least do that form is go through uh, Facebook responses. And... All right. All right. On that note, see you guys next Halloween. All right. <laughs> so, cheers. See you next cheers. time. Seriously. All right, folks. Uh, I guess that's it. Dude, we're done. We're wrapping up. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Seriously, you have to go off like that?